Okay, I'm in Sandy Hook and uh, just walked through the property. This is Grant Putnam, Putnam Landscaping. So what we would do is we would set up and put a dirt ramp off of the driveway then so to protect the Belgian block and then put plywood running up close to the corner of the deck back to about here and then dump the dirt in this area to fill this hole. There's a big hole right here, call it this hole to fill would be roughly 20 feet by 20 feet in that area. It wouldn't fill the whole backyard, just fill that 20 foot by 20 foot area, which I think is um, the biggest issue you have for grading, all right? And then I would say you could get by with 20 to 20, 20 somewhere between 20 to 28 yards of topsoil. And that would be concentrated in the areas to skim coat on top of your fill and to fill in the holes created from excavating the rocks. Okay, um, then the tree company or a stump grinding company would grind all the stumps. Um, if you get a little more sunlight back here by removing some of the branches, then the grass is obviously gonna look better. You can see it's pretty shady over here. So if you remove some of these limbs, then you'll be better off with the lawn. Okay, um, then thinking we could bring the excavator here for one day and um, just dig up a lot of these rocks. So it's all these rocks starting here, kind of running through here, back there, along the border, in this area. It, some of this might be ledge, which means you're not gonna be able to move it, but you can get a lot of it, I would think. And stopping here. So if you draw a line from here to that rock, that would be like kind of the border. So it's mainly just the backyard in here. Again, you try to remove a lot of these rocks and just push them into the woods, okay? Um, Then we would put down starter fertilizer and tall fescue grass seed, which is the best for a non-irrigated lawn. And you would want to water it at least once a day, possibly twice a day, depending on the weather, um, for about a month to get that established. Okay, and then I would also suggest hiring like a um, lawn doctor to take over the fertilizing program after that, so you can get some good results. Okay. Um, so that's about it. So I'll shoot you a quote and we'll take it from there. Thank you.